Hello, welcome to another Minute Monday. I'm in a cafe again today. I'm in the Ex Roasters Cafe in Exeter. Um, right, it wasn't entirely clickbait. Um, this is a way that we can solve any equation in under a second, but we're going to be using an app, okay? Um, it's an app called Photomath, and I don't really know anything about it. I'm nothing to do with them. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but it's really, really clever. So you can use your phone. It's a free app, by the way. You can use your phone, and it uses the camera, and so you then just point your phone at an equation like this, and it takes, it takes a moment to get it in focus. Then it will beep. There you go. And it gives you the solution. You can click on that. You can click on the solution and it will take you through the steps to solve that equation. The steps aren't always necessarily the way that you would solve it, so they might not make that much sense, but it's pretty good, it's pretty good. You can even scroll down, it will show you the, the graph of what that equation looks like. It's really, I would say, as close to magic as, <laughs> as you can get. Um, let me show you a couple more examples. Uh, let's do a harder equation. Um, some, there you go. This one involves some brackets here, so let's have a go at that. So 11, in brackets, x plus 3, struggling to focus a bit. Oh no, it's got it, yeah, right, there you go, so it got it before I realised it, got it. So x is equal to 9, and it solved it, it's showing us the steps to solve that, and then again we can scroll down and see that graph. But it's even cleverer than that, because it can read your handwriting, so you can write down an equation, and it will solve it. So let's do a slightly harder equation as well, let's do x squared minus 7x, plus 8 is equal to 0, so we've got a quadratic equation here, okay? Can it, and I've not got the best handwriting. Oh, I think that looks quite neat, actually. Let's see if it can recognise that. Yeah, so there you go. You can see that on screen there, and it gives you the answer in third form, you know, with the square root symbols, um, and it gives you the answer in decimals as well. And again, you've got the graph, it's showing you all the steps. Really, something else, isn't it? I'm going to do uh, two more. Firstly, I'm going to show you that it can do simultaneous equations. A uh, simultaneous equation looks like this, where you've got two equations that individually you wouldn't be able to solve, but when you combine them, you have enough information to be able to solve that. Our American cousins call these systems of equations, I think. We call them simultaneous equations in the UK. Uh, there we go. So I've got two equations. I need to get my camera out a bit further for that one. it has got it. So we've got our solution there, that x is uh, 9 and y is equal to 4. And again, it's plotted both of those graphs and you can see that point where they intersect, that's the solution to the equation. Isn't that clever, eh? Right, last one is a um, simultaneous equation involving a quadratic. So something like 5, not something like, exactly like, 5 equals y minus 2x. And then the second equation will have 2x squared minus y plus 3 is equal to x. Can it solve this? I hope so. Um, let's see if I can get it all in the shot there, focus. There you go, we've got our solutions there. So I'll scroll down very quickly. You can see either x is 2 and y is 9, or x is equal to minus a half and y is equal to 4. And again, we've got the graph for that down there. Genius, isn't it? Um, so, can you cheat with this? That's the question, isn't it? Um, and the answer is no, because you shouldn't. But actually the answer is no anyway, because all these questions were just from a textbook. I could, I could have just looked the answers up in the back. So, had I wanted to cheat, I could have done anyway. Obviously you can't use a phone in an exam, or probably in your classroom. Um, so you can't really cheat with it, but it's a fun and interesting thing. And you can use it to check your answers if you're solving some equations. You can check your answers. You can even check the sort of the steps that you're going through to, to get to your solutions. Anyway, I, I think it's amazing. Fascinating little app. Uh, thank you very much for watching this week's Minute Monday. I'm back every Monday with quick tips and tips, tips and tricks. I shall see you next week.